Hey, what's up, YouTube? So we're back again with the Troll Blazer, and this time we're gonna be removing the sound system and redoing it completely. So I'm gonna uh, get rid of this uh, amplifier, it's an Alpine, and also this uh, box that was right here on the side with the Rockford Fosgate, and it's just not not enough bass for us. So we're gonna put the 12s in here and the new amp, and just update everything basically from the double din all the way to the back. Okay, so we're up here in the front, and this is the little fuse it has. So all I'm gonna do is just remove it and then start uh, disconnecting the the subwoofer. So I'm gonna end up removing this wire completely right now, so so I won't have any power and it can't you know create a short. Okay, so it's the next day and the amp was sold last night so today we're gonna get to removing the double din and basically what we're gonna do is uh remove these little caps right here there's two on the side and there's some phillips screws underneath once we pop this off and then we'll, we'll remove this dashboard bezel and some screws are already missing i guess from whoever installed the sound system so we're gonna try to find those screws up there and the one that's missing right here in the middle. There's one right there. So right before I get to the rest of this, I just want to show you guys why you don't just take your car in for an install in just anywhere. Cause look at all that. And then there's some ground self-tapping screw, I guess, right there. The cable for the gauges, they just tap into that. This is that transmission gauge. And then we have this speaker right here. The dash speaker was just under here. This is what we got so far. We pulled that out and I was just having some trouble because of this uh, steering column lock. So what I'm thinking of doing before I put that other piece back in, I'm gonna just drill all this out and get a new one because it's gonna be a hassle to put it back on. And uh, so you remove the switch has four clips and you just push it back in and then on this side uh this one has the transmission uh gauge which is gonna go because we kind of don't want it right there so all this is gonna get removed this is the plug for the rear windshield wiper and then you have two plugs for the for the charging ports on that bezel these right here so i'm gonna pull this off right now and see what's back there kind of looks fucked up already because there's a lot of uh cables running all over the place so let me see what i find so i was tearing up this side for a bit and i thought it wasn't gonna get any worse and then there's still some more shit going on behind there i don't know if you guys can see those so i'm gonna have to pull this cluster out and then this shit was screwed on to this plastic piece right here with the self-tapping screw Well, let me get to this real again. All right, so we're halfway through the interior because we have to pull out the camera cables and all the stuff for the double din. And since I'm pulling out these plastics, I decided to record all the bullshit that I'm finding. So that needs to get fixed. I guess that's for like the reverse for the rear view camera. And then what the fuck they decided to do back here but it seems like they ran some cables and then they decided they were going to run the cables this way and they just added the wire i don't know but uh so we're gonna keep on removing the interior for that other video so put you guys back on in a bit once we get to the front because we do have to remove the uh rest of the double dink uh stuff and then we also have to remove the door panels to get to the speakers. So everything is gonna get pulled out. Okay, one more thing before I pull out this carpet is uh, the power cable. I don't know who the fuck ran this power cable, but this, first off, this side right here was under the seat bracket. It was getting pinned. And then the rest of the wire was just, was just here. And that, this end, was through the carpet and then it was ran back there and then it was ran to the back uh, little space right here. I don't know why they did that, but all this is coming off. So I just wanted to show you guys before I'm done removing the interior. Uh, just wanted to record this before I remove them. 
Since this is going to be for the sound system video. I don't know why they did all this, but it's a lot of cables and stuff. These RCAs, I think they're still good. I'm just going to save them, but all the speaker wire and all that is going to go to the trash. And then, um, I'll show you guys. I a self tapping screw right there. I don't know what it was for, but seems like they just cut it off. And then they tapped into that power cable on that fuse box. I had removed that before I started tearing this apart. And then uh, here, these are just some speaker wires going to the cables that go through the door boot for those speakers. Get the same thing over here. So all that's gonna come off right now. And then all these wires, these are the ones I showed you earlier that were up here. They splice into them with some more speaker wire. So all this is gonna come off. And then for the camera, I don't know if you guys can see, but they use some speaker wire for the power and ground. And a regular RCA. So I'm about to cut this off and remove the backup camera. Okay, so I was putting in these cables and then this thing is just tucked in back here so I couldn't pull it out and it wasn't even secured to anything. It was just there. So far this is all I got out. Got these. It's crazy. All right, so it's been a couple of days since we started removing the sound system. And we got to this part. Uh, they mounted the tweeter to this little bracket. And then they used one of the stock bolt holes to hold it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And this is the connection. So I'm gonna pull it off from this side and as well from that side. I also removed all the wiring from in here. I'm gonna go to the back and show you guys what I removed. Okay, so this is what I got out so far. All this wiring, this splice to someone else's speaker wire. And then this board was underneath the carpet in here. They uh, bolted the, well they screwed the amp onto this board, which is kind of good because then, you know, I thought I was gonna find some holes in the actual, little cargo space back here and this is what I'm gonna save some uh, ground cable some heat gauge and some eight gauge power cable some RCA's I know these RCA's work because the sound system was working this pack unit I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it just in case also this wire for the tweeters i'm gonna still remove the tweeters and the door panels the door panels are still on the car so i'm gonna remove those and i decided to make the video a two-part you know removal and the install video so you're gonna get the rest of the stuff on the second video and as of now we're working on a couple of other videos at the same time so it might take a while to get the last video out so make sure to like comment subscribe Follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC films. And I'll catch you in the next one.